Myanmar will receive its first batch of COVID-19 vaccines tomorrow. The country has ordered 30 million doses of the Oxford AstraZeneca jab from India's Serum Institute. While Myanmar hasn't approved any vaccines as yet, it's been watching other countries very closely. Mass vaccination is due to begin early next month. Leon Waikit joins us live from Yangon for more on this. Waikit, what's the plan for Myanmar's vaccine rollout? Well, Don, the grand plan is by 2023, Myanmar would vaccinate all of its people. Of course, the context is there are 54 million people in Myanmar. That's 10 times the population of Singapore. Now, we do know that the authorities hope to vaccinate 40% of its uh, people by the end of this year. And of course, we would, in, we would expect your healthcare workers as well as your older generation to be in the priority list. But Myanmar is also looking into pushing uh, your seemingly not so vulnerable groups on that list. And these are people who are in the banking retail sector, for instance, or your food delivery staff, or your cab drivers or bus drivers because of the nature of their work. Now, when vaccines do come to Myanmar, rolling them out will be, uh, you know, a, a, relative, a relatively straightforward exercise because, remember, even before COVID-19 hit the world, Myanmar already has a robust vaccination program. At least 13 vaccines are in that national program. So in terms of handling vaccinations, the network, the skills, the infrastructure, Myanmar has the experience, Myanmar has the expertise. The key issue here is to ensure your remote areas, your rural health centres, that they have access to electricity or backup power generators so that the freezers can effectively store those vaccines when they do come to Myanmar. They have experience and expertise with vaccine drives, Waikit, but has Myanmar procured enough doses of the COVID-19 vaccine to inoculate most of the population? Well, that's the magic question, Don. I mean, I had also spoken to an official who is part of the Myanmar's uh, COVID-19 vaccines program, and he says that Myanmar's main challenge is supply. But in terms of Myanmar's uh, planning on paper, it does seem it's on track because Myanmar is on track in terms of planning where to get the vaccines. It's on track in terms of finding the money to buy vaccines. It has secured loans from external parties such as the IMF and World Bank. Internally, it's moved its budgets around so that it has uh, sufficient funds. And in early January, Myanmar also set up two bank accounts. They made the details of the bank accounts known to the public and urged people to make donations so that they have enough resources to buy vaccines. In terms of where to buy vaccines, we've spoken earlier about Myanmar having a deal with India to buy 30 million vaccines. And earlier this year, when uh, Foreign Affairs Minister of China, Wang Yi, came to visit uh, uh, Myanmar, he also promised at least 300,000 doses of vaccines. In April, Myanmar is set to get vaccines from the COVAX facility. That is, of course, a body that's been formed to ensure there's distribution of vaccines. On top of that, Myanmar is always on the lookout for bilateral deals looking to countries such as US, UK or, or Russia to buy vaccines directly from them. So all in, on paper, it seems that Myanmar is on track to buy vaccines to vaccinate uh, 54 million of its people. All right, Waikit, thank you very much for that update. Leon Waikit there, live for us in Yangon.